In this video, I'll be talking about the difference between RNAi and CRISPR technology. RNAi stands for interference RNA and naturally occurs in eukaryotic cells. There are two types, microRNA, which is endogenous and comes from a single strand of RNA, and small interfering RNA, which is exogenous and comes from a double-stranded RNA. Both types of short RNA affect mRNA, which in turn affects protein synthesis. MicroRNA works by directing the risk to the target mRNA strand. The risk is composed of an argonaut protein in either one of the short RNA. Part of the microRNA, called the seed, pairs with the target strand. Imprecise pairing inhibits translation. The image to the right shows how dicer and nuclease preps the microRNA. The microRNA strand then binds to an argonaut protein forming the risk. The risk is then guided to the target strand where microRNA binds imprecisely to mRNA. Small interfering RNA works by using precise base pairing. Instead of functioning as a lock-like microRNA, siRNA tells RISC to cleave the complementary strand, resulting in the degradation of the specific segment. Unlike microRNA, siRNA can only target and degrade its complementary strand. Another form of gene editing is CRISPR technology. CRISPR stands for Clustered Regularly Interspaced Palindromic Repeats and naturally occurs in prokaryotic cells. CRISPR cleaves DNA instead of RNA and can be used on all types of DNA. Unlike RNAi, this method results in a permanent change. This method uses a guide RNA consisting of CRISPR RNA and tracer RNA and a Cas9 protein. The Cas9 cleaves the DNA up until the PAM sequence. The altered DNA then repairs itself. Although RNAi and CRISPR technology both affect gene expression, there is a big difference in process and outcome. For an example, I'll use the gene that affects the appeal of cilantro. Let's say gene A is the gene that causes cilantro to taste soapy. This gene causes your olfactory nerves to have a high binding specificity to aldehydes that come from cilantro. If both methods work and I want to study the effects of inhibiting gene A, I would choose to use RNAi. This is because RNAi is temporary. This method also does not affect DNA, which may reduce the risk of synergistic mutation. I would use CRISPR technology to permanently alter someone's hate for cilantro. Thanks for watching.